Southeast Asia, a region of magnificent natural wealth and diversity. A teeming melting pot of some 630 million multi-ethnic, multi-religious, and multilingual peoples. A region of many cultures. Yet, amidst this multiplicity of races and cultures, there are common threads that bind the peoples of Southeast Asia. Thus, in the early 60s, attempts were made to establish an association among the Southeast Asian nations. Forerunners to the ASEAN were two smaller regional organizations, the Association of Southeast Asia and the Mafilindo. On July 31, 1961, ASA, the Association of Southeast Asia, was established by the foreign ministers of the Federation of Malaya, the Philippines, and Thailand. ASA set an important precedent by facilitating communication among the foreign ministers of culturally and historically diverse independent states. ASA was, however, dissolved on September 16, 1963. In July 1963, the Greater Malayan Confederation or Mafilindo was established, comprised of the Federation of Malaya, the Philippines, and Indonesia aimed at approaching common issues and concerns through consensus. However, Mafilindo never advanced beyond its declaratory establishment. Four years later, in the desire to promote regional cooperation in the spirit of equality and partnership, five Southeast Asian countries agreed to form a regional organization with the name the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The historic signing of the ASEAN Declaration was held on August 8, 1967, in Bangkok, Thailand. The signatories were Adam Malik, Foreign Minister of Indonesia, Tun Abdul Razak bin Hussein, Foreign Minister of Malaysia, Narciso Ramos, Foreign Minister of the Philippines, S. Rajarat Nam, Foreign Minister of Singapore, Tanat Koman, Foreign Minister of Thailand, the ASEAN Declaration underscores the collective will of five nations in Southeast Asia to bind themselves together in friendship and cooperation. Several years later, the ASEAN opened its doors to five other Southeast Asian states, Brunei Darussalam on January 8, 1984, Vietnam on July 28, 1995, Laos and Myanmar on July 23, 1997, and Cambodia on April 30, 1999. With the advent of the new millennium, 10 countries in Southeast Asia have bonded with a goal to become one community. ASEAN, 10 member states bound together as exemplified in its motto, emblem and flag. ASEAN is guided by its motto, one vision, one identity, one community. The ASEAN emblem represents a stable, peaceful, united, and dynamic ASEAN. The ASEAN flag is a symbol of the member states' unity and support for the principles and endeavors of ASEAN, a means to promote greater ASEAN awareness and solidarity. ASEAN, whose founding in 1967 was met with skepticism, has proven that it can succeed and is now recognized as one of the world's most respected regional organizations. In its early years, ASEAN focused on laying its foundations and adopting fundamental principles to govern the relations among its member states. As a basic principle, decision-making in ASEAN is based on consultation and consensus. A truly people-centered region of lasting peace and stability sustained economic growth, and shared prosperity and social progress. This is ASEAN. One vision, one identity, one community.
Yeah.